black milk tea uh, something with creme brulee. I finished a book that I started, which is Anna Huang's new book, King of Wrath. I couldn't put it down because I really, really, really like the book. Hi, morning everyone. So today is Friday morning. Um, well, not very morning, it's almost 11 a.m. I'm gonna start packing because we are heading out to Strasbourg, 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 Strasbourg. It, one of the pronunciations should be close to what it is. Um, basically, it's at the border of France with Germany, and we have to drive about five, five and a half hours to get there. So we're gonna leave this afternoon around 3 or 4 ish. I basically went online searching for some Notion templates of other people's travel template or packing template. They just got a packing checklist online and I copied their template. And this is basically how it looks like, everything that I'm taking off, the different things that I want to include in it. I think I've covered everything. Not exactly certain of that, but hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. So now I just have to pack using my list. Uh, This is the bag that I'm gonna have on me. That one is my suitcase. That's for Jello to have his clothes in. And we'll also have the backpack for everyday stuff. And most of it is here. Now I just need to go prep my snack bag in the kitchen. Oh, I'm almost done packing away stuff. Uh, I'll double check my list afterwards, but for now, I'm gonna choose what books I'm gonna read. So, Twisted Lies, I only have a little bit left, so this one I'm taking. It happened one summer, I actually only started like page one of chapter one two nights ago. Has potential, definitely will bring it with us. I wanna finish a Julia Queen. I'm about, yeah, I have this much left to the book as well. I don't know if I'm in the mood to read that yet no i'm gonna leave that for when we come back this is more nighttime reading oh and my kindle which i just got the king of wrath anna huang's new book that came out like a week ago ish i think um so i got it on my kindle i don't have the paperback yet This is you filming on the head. Where's my butt? It's not there. It was too big to fit. <gasps> it's been recorded now. I take it back. This is 
black milk tea uh, something with creme brulee. Yeah, look, you can see the creme brulee on top. It's from La Machi Machi. We yeah, can open. Look forward to this creme brulee. I did 30%. It's good though. It's not that sweet, oh shit. <laughs> If I if I bought it, it would have been like 150 percent. But because you bought it, oh, it's, 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 it's pretty good. Oh, it's not too No, but seriously, the crumbled is pretty I good. Know, Hello everyone, so now it's Sunday, it's uh, around 11.30, 12-ish um, and actually today is daylight savings so technically it would have been 1pm already but it's 12 now. I just cleaned up the room a bit, I wanted to film a room tour for the hotel. Initially I was planning on doing it Saturday because we got here Friday night and I don't like it because it's too dark and you can't see anything so I was planning on doing it Saturday morning but because the night before I slept at 2.30 a.m. I was busy staying up reading and I couldn't put the book down so I was super tired on Saturday and I just didn't get to wake up and properly film the room tour. So I want to do that today because we're kind of staying in and not doing much. Uh, yes, I got dragged out of bed and then I came back to our room and I just read for like two, three hours. I finished a book that I started before we left, which is Anna Huang's new book, King of Wrath. Um, it's just on my Kindle Unlimited. And uh, I couldn't put it down because I really, really, really like the book. Basically, the book checks off a lot of the different areas or the tropes that I like. It's a decent slow burn. Um, range marriage normally is not my thing fully, but she wrote it in a way that I actually like and I accept it. And I'm a big fan of how she builds her characters and the tension, the chemistry between them. It's just, it's very nice. I like it. So I will go in more in depth when I actually finish writing my notes on it. Um, I highlight a certain portion and I bookmarked a couple chapters that I need to go back and reread so that I can create a coherent summary and book note and review on it. But that's going to be way later. So that's what I did yesterday. I actually finished the book. Then in the afternoon, we went out to visit La Petite France. And overall, a uh, nice little town, you know, very old-fashioned vintage style. The small houses and everything beside the rivière. And you can actually do a boat tour. We didn't do anything like that. We just kind of walked around, took some pictures. Oh, big thing, which I think I already showed. I definitely have footage of it, is... So we went to get this bubble tea at Machi Machi that's what it's called. Uh, I didn't research in advance, we just walked past by it and saw a lineup forming and I was like, huh, interesting. That looks decent. If there's a lineup forming in front of a bubble tea store, it probably means that it's decent at least. So we went in and they had this signature bubble tea that's called a black milk tea with creme brulee. It's definitely on the sweeter side, but it was so good. Like I tried it once and I was like, holy shit, creme brulee and bubble tea work together so well. But definitely it was like purely by hasard, by accident that we stumbled upon it. And apparently it's a really good bubble tea place. So this is the view when you first enter the room. And then on the left side, it's just large mirror sliding. You have a closet there. Just a regular kind of coat closet. And then it has basically two sides of it. On the second one, you have a bit more storage space. Safe. That's where we put our suitcases and stuff. Uh, just an armoire. And there's a bit more space on this side. Right beside it, 
You have a tiny coffee place um, and a mini fridge. And then on the opposite end, still at the entrance, so if you turn on the right side, here is where the washroom is at. A lot of counter space, which is good. So those are all my skincare and then makeup bag, uh, me, and here bathtub. The, I don't know if you can see it properly um, from the camera, but it's a very narrow bathtub. Uh, two people can't fit in there. And, but overall, super spacious for the entire washroom. And just toilet here this way. So if we go out and we look at it from the outside, it's really a, it's a lot of space to have. And then keep going, keep going inside. Bed, big enough, definitely king bed, which I love. The nightstands, I also like these. See, these are super like large, I guess, nightstands, and you can put you can fit so many things on there. Um, a TV which has an HDMI cord with it, and we can just plug it to our laptop and we can just watch movies directly from there. Uh, this is a working area, working space. Still very nice. And have a mini sofa slash chair kind of thing. This is basically my reading corner. Um, and over here on my nightstand, we have all of my books that I packed. Kindle, iPad, my camera, so all of these things that I basically sort of use just before going to bed. And drive oh. here. It's from here is about a 45 minute, 50 minute drive to get to Europa Park, and we're gonna spend the whole day in the park, then uh, drive back to Belgium uh, Monday night. Overall, it has been a very relaxing trip, and I've been liking it a lot. Tonight.
Why are we going this way? <laughs> oh. mm. This is very good. Yeah? I'm ready to go. It's Tuesday, November 1st. Um, we're already back home from our vacation in Strasbourg. We came back Monday night. So I'm gonna do a recap a bit of what we did. So Sunday I was doing the room tour and afterwards, later in the afternoon, what we did was we kind of just went out to walk around a bit. We actually drove past the border. So Strasbourg is right on the side of like France and Germany's border. So we just drove past the bridge and walked a bit on the other side. There was like a sightseeing tower thing that we took some pictures on. And I also got another um, bubble tea from Machi Machi, but this time I tried something else. So I tried the matcha green tea creme brulee black milk tea i think that's what it's called the, the the names are a bit long and i'll write it down if you are ever interested in trying out but i actually liked the matcha even more than the one that we got the day before because the matcha is a bit bitter and creme obviously it's like a very sweet thing um so when you do the combo between them it kind of mixes up really well and then you have the bitter sweet taste kind of thing which i really really like monday it was just packing uh check out and then we got to europa park by 11. uh initially i thought it was only gonna take like 45 minutes to get there but it actually took more like an hour to an hour and a half because it has a lot of traffic i don't think that everyone hides on monday off but halloween is we do have november 1st as the all saints holiday where people hide before we ever have up but i guess since it was on tuesday um everyone else was also took monday off and there was a lot of traffic but it was quite a cafe uh even though it was quite a lot of people spread out the whole side of the line but yeah too many different places the travel to get there took longer than we initially thought which was okay it's not a big deal we were not in a hurry and it wasn't like i had a huge agenda to get done by that day um, but it just took longer than expected and once we were in the park um, I took some footage of the different places so the park is split into different countries so the way how they were designing the park it's like Disneyland or um, Disney parks where you have different themes right and you know you were in Adventureland or you were in Tropical Island and that's how they were naming it for Europa Park, the way they were naming it is per country. So you had Spain, you had Italy, France, etc., etc. And in each of those little mini parks and lands, um, they the decorations and you know the buildings and the attractions they were all themed around that particular country. Like in France, you had Moulin Rouge. In Italy, you had the Venice type of bridge where, you know, that's a typical Venice thing to do, etc. So there were all these little places to visit and to take pictures. They were all very gorgeous. And obviously because it was Halloween, there was also a lot of Halloween decorations, pumpkins all over the place. So that was quite fun to see. The only thing that we didn't really do uh, was the actual attractions. <laughs> the big wall coasters, there's like four or five of them. But for each of them, the lineup was, I think, a minimum for two hours because on the board, it does tell you from the starting point, there's 75 minutes wait or 90 minutes wait, etc. Except from the starting point, there's still a long lineup that goes all the way until like a different street, uh, which I'm pretty sure the 90 minute did not account for. So when we're walking around looking at the roller coasters, it was probably gonna be like two hour wait time for each of the roller coasters. I'll see you guys next vlog. Bye.